ओके आकांक्षा इज हियर अनन्या मिक्षा दिस इज फॉर क्लास सेवन वी आर डूइंग अ रेस लॉस्ट एंड वन सम चिल्ड्रन वॉन्टेड मी टू डू रिविजन इफ यू वॉन्ट वील डू रिविजन फॉर यू ऑल्सो राइट हेलो नियति ऑल दो वी हैव वीडियो ओवर हियर देर इज but this is only for revision so let us not waste time and we will quickly start those of you who want a uh, revision yes we will do whenever you say yes akansha always for my children always ready quickly tell everybody to join so that we are able to start so first we will do a race lost and one all right we'll do this first this is by devika rangachari we need to know the writer's name and this is actually a very inspirational story because this is about a girl who has interest in sports sports is her passion although her legs are very weak and she is not able to play well but yes 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 you can aman yes you can yeah she her passion is uh, sports and not only one type of game like she likes to play all and she wants to participate in all she wants to do her best and all the only thing is she is not able to do so her legs are very weak they are very skinny they are very, they are very weak lean legs and they get entangled you know when she runs the legs get entangled and she falls there are times you know when uh, things have to be done in the other way but she does it in a wrong way and uh, mrs reddy who has always been her sports teacher since primary Uh, supports her a lot is very worried about this girl because always you know when her legs get uh, entangled that is the word over here in your book uh, is when the legs get extricated she is the one who runs to separate the two legs and uh, to bring them to the original uh, position yes so here we'll do the whole chapter we have done before we have the video of question answers please go through that today is revision session we will only do the main points so firstly we did that the writer's name is devika rangachari right so we need to know the writer's name then secondly that passion for sports she had passion for sports and what all she did that we will do when we discuss the different events all right number 3 whenever the bell rang for the pt period she was yes ananya remembers when the bell rang for pt period she ran towards she was very excited she everybody rolled their eyes and they looked at her that oh god the way she is reacting Uh, people used to make fun of her the girls used to make fun of her her friend was dipali dipali and group here the word is kotri right uh it is not clear then what do i do tell me one light should i switch off this one no it becomes dark this one uh you, i think you need to you know um uh, do something change the video quality of your thing all right ananya says it's clear we need to change the video quality anubhav is not here i don't know you know some number he writes yeah you can change the video quality so then it will become okay all right so whenever the bell rang for the pt period all right so uh everybody she used to glow with excitement so what was her reaction she was very happy and there are children you know in our school also who really feel very happy when it is the games period in fact one period before they are looking out of the window to see whether the pt teacher is there or not so even she used to feel very happy and the rest of the children they groaned 
they made noises and then they you know rolled their eyes that oh just look at her what she's doing and what she used to do she used to very happily you know tell everybody to come she used to run go you know uh, before everybody else she was always the first one to run down the corridor and the stairs and reach mrs reddy mrs reddy used to get very very you know uh, she used to reach as soon as the bell rang and there were there were times you know when she used to feel that oh this girl has reached so very quickly the other girls no we cannot say they were jealous they used to just make fun of her because she had passion for sports but the way she used to do things was very funny all right so the first thing was her the pt period reaction all right pt period reaction of the girl and of the other students and of mrs reddy too all right and it this book says that mrs reddy was her primary sports teacher also and she had been for seeing this girl for quite some years and always mrs reddy had supported her and uh, had always liked her and in fact she used to be very worried about her okay yukti okay all right the next thing uh, then she says you know when she was small when she was in primary school mrs reddy used to spread horse uh, hair mats these are the mats you know when uh, we to do yoga we need these mats so mrs reddy they were very prickly mats usually meant for sports and yoga activities and they had to uh, do some exercises they had to somersault and all on that and in somersaulting her legs used to get uh entangled with each other they used to get extra uh, entangled and then mrs reddy used to run to separate the two legs all right so this is the next point so the activities that uh we need to know is let's do one by one number one is horse hair mat all right that was a somersault then next is the cart wheel all right i had uh, the children had shown me pictures even my i think my video has also got cart wheel i don't know uh, but children were showing me akansha was showing me the cart wheel uh, picture so whenever they uh, the activity of cart wheel was going on and they had to reach from a point to b you know the exercises while doing the exercises they used to take a round the legs used to go up and then the other side uh, i am neha singh all right thank you for your video okay all right most welcome neha and uh, let's continue so whenever she was there exercising that is the cartwheel exercise now what is that it is like aerobics you know cartwheel there are different types of cartwheel there is uh, a cart with wheels which you can drag children play with that all right second cartwheel is if you have a round wheel type of a thing and with the stick you can roll it but here it doesn't mean that here it is the exercise when the people you know they wear their uh, aerobic dresses and uh, or their zumba dresses and then you know they their body does a round all right they go like this and the legs go up and down so that is a cartwheel now whenever this cartwheel exercise was going on the children were told to go from a position to b but she used to land to the y position and go all wrong in fact she could not stop herself and she used to do it wrongly and then she used to lie a uh, spread eagle what is spread eagle when you are very tired and then you lie you know with your legs and hands all spread and uh, she used to be breathless and mrs reddy used to be very worried right yeah so then she used to do it wrongly and mrs reddy often used to say that if you are not able to do this why do you try just leave it don't take stress or tension but she never stopped she never gave up and that is the main thing that is the passion you know if you are crazy about something you have a passion for something you need to keep doing it try and try one day you will definitely succeed right so this is something we are learning from this girl 
Next thing was the raised triangular wooden structures which look like horses. Alright, so next is the wooden structures and these wooden structures looked like plat uh, plateaus or like cupcakes or something. Alright, and here you know what they had to do, they had to, the children were told these things were lying here, these triangular wooden things. The children were told to run, alright, and then touch it very softly and then seat themselves on that uh, thing, that uh, thing that looked like a horse. And Dipali and company, they did, Dipali and all the friends, they did very, very nicely. Ananya, yes, she never gave up despite being laughed by everyone. Everybody used to make fun of her. The next thing we'll see that they really make fun uh, of her, but she doesn't feel bad. Yes, maybe inside somewhere she knew they all were mocking. Uh, she was in fact a, uh, you know, a middle point of which people used to, she was a target. People used to make fun. In fact, you know, when they were free, they wanted to make fun of her and have fun and good pastime for all of them. Yeah, but she did not take that to heart. She knew she had to succeed. She had to prove herself, right? So then what she used to do with these wooden structures, she used to run like mad. All right, and it's written that I would run at the horse like a charging bull. All right, and then soar into the air like a hawk and then jump, sit on it with bottoms, you know, and the bottoms used to just go thud on that uh, wooden structure. In fact, it used, maybe she hurt herself. They had to actually touch it, touch it lightly and sit, but she used to jump on it uh, not lightly, but with my fingers, but heavily with my bottom, she says. And I would utter a squack. And obviously, when she hurt her bottom, she used to utter a sound. And Mrs. Reddy used to come to her rescue. So Mrs. Reddy's role in her life is very important. Right? Next is, uh, the next thing is, yes, she, she says that, uh, the classmates used to make fun of her. In fact, there was a free period and everybody used to collect together and they used to keep telling her, do this, do that. And then they used to laugh at her. So they made her a laughing stock, right? Which was something very bad on the part of Dipali and her friends and the other friends also. But she never gave up. Next thing was that uh, the, there was... You know, uh, excitement in the school because inter-school competition, sports competitions were going to take place in their school. And she was very, very excited because she wanted to take part in numerous things. All right. So then she started. Uh, firstly, she said that she wanted to take part in basketball. But when she gave her name, uh, she had to, uh, the, her name was removed. Why? Because you know, when you play basketball, it is not a single player's game. It is a team game. Yes, it is a team game and everybody has to participate. Everybody has a role to play in it. Passing the ball, putting it into the basket. All this is divided among the uh, children of the team. Right now, the other tall children who used to play basketball very well, they did not want her to be there because they used to say that she was like a bothersome mosquito. They referred this. Why bothersome mosquito? They say, uh, I'm just reading it so that you get it here. I skipped nimbly between my towering colleagues and cleverly dodged and dashed. But the others said I was a nuisance that I got under their feet and hampered their movement. Now she used to try her best with the basketball, you know, dribbling and all running here and there in between those tall children. She used to do what? She used to restrict their movement. She used to play her own game, but the other children did not want. She used to come in between and it was problem for the other uh, team members to move. So then they used to say that she was a nuisance and she was just like a bothersome mosquito. So you need to know this. Next thing is that now basketball was something where her name was cut. Now she thought of going to 
the next thing and that was the racing teams for racing you need to have a lot of endurance and stamina your legs should be very very strong because if you have to run 100 meters or 400 meters and rounds and rounds you have to be very very strong especially your legs and your stamina all right so now what happened was they started practicing and when they used to practice and selection was going on uh, there was a difference that she noticed between the other children and herself right all right uh, did i miss something i missed something no you know uh, no it's all right yeah so what she noticed now the uh, yes uh, yeah her legs were weak miksha akansha what are you saying see i told i don't think i won that race but feeling was wonderful all right now she was talking about the race that had taken place years before where you know she had uh, you know when there is racing going on uh, races are going on tracks are made and you have to run on your own track you cannot move to the other people's track right so here she was yes i forgot that yes long jump thing i have uh, left yes after the basketball long jump activity was there and what she did was you know you have to come there is a lot of sand and you have to jump sand is spread so that you don't hurt yourself so uh, wherever you jump they mark uh, the distance of the long jump that you have made and she tried it and what she did was she tried her best but when she fell when she jumped she her face went into the sand and uh, it suffocated herself mrs reddy again became very very worried and she ran to her rescue right so after basketball there was this long jump so now let us quickly write uh, the inter sports activities all right so first was basketball then was this long jump and then she went on to the races now basketball she was called a bothersome mosquito so this was cut long jump because she was not able to do well and she suffocated herself everybody became worried so again that was also gone and the third thing was uh, now was the races and then when she talked about races she remembered how she had taken part uh, in races before and she had spoiled all her uniform and all so yes that is not a big thing now the thing is the difference between the children what did what difference did she note now she noticed that when the other children ran they were not sweating the way she was sweating all right they were not panting for breath as she was panting and her legs were very very lean and weak all right so they were very skinny they were on the skinny side she noticed the difference between those children and herself anyways now when she was standing on the track she had you know everybody if you are participating you want to what you want to win you want to prove yourself and standing there before the races she started dreaming what was her dream to run well she wanted to make mrs reddy her only supporter proud she wanted her to smile she just wanted mrs reddy to feel very very happy and proud of her all right and the way she was dreaming and she dreamt that she uh was amongst one of the winners all right now the race began all right i'll just read the few lines that she thinks about uh, mrs reddy's reaction yeah she imagined that she yes yes that she was split 
by a split second. Now she says, in my mind's eye, what is mind's eye? Imagination. I could see myself running the last and the decisive lap. What is lap, you know, when you are running the track, all right? If you are running, you are running, running, running. And suppose the ribbon is here. The last lap is this one, the last part, all right? So then she was dreaming. She was thinking, imagining herself at the, uh, where, you know, the decisive lap is the end. So what was she imagining? That being egged on by my school and pipping my nearest competitor at the post by a split second. So she came second and that was in her imagination. She was fancying, she was imagining. Mrs. Reddy would shed tears of gratitude and she also felt, you know, if this would happen, then Mrs. Reddy would run to her and she would uh, shed tears of thankfulness, of gratitude that, oh, thank you so much, you have won. All right, because Mrs. Reddy had always been supporting her since she was just a kid. Now the race began and they blew the whistle and everybody started running. And in fact, you know, uh, while running, she observed that her friend Anju and Lena, they both were also on different tracks with her. And what were, uh, you know, what did she notice? Uh, beside me, I could hear Anju snorting like a horse, snorting like a horse. You know, the sound that she was making while running uh, very fast. It was like snorting of a horse. And Lena on the other uh, side was gasping for breath. So both of them were struggling to win. And uh, so now, you know, she felt that just the race has just begun. Why are they making these sounds? In fact, you know, then she felt that she doesn't have to think anything uh, about anything. And she remembered Mrs. Reddy's words that Mrs. Reddy had told her, don't look to left or right. Just concentrate on your track and run fast. So that is what she did. And... Then at the end of the first round, I was in third position, but the race was still going on. So she was at the third position. I heard encouraging shouts all around me, you know, children all round, sitting round, uh, spectators, they were cheering for uh, her and she felt so very happy. Her heart was pounding, everything was throbbing and she was running at good speed. Yeah. So now uh, everybody was telling her, even she herself was telling her, don't give up, don't give up. She herself, you know, wanted to win and she was encouraging herself. She tried her best. She gave her best in this race because she wanted to prove herself. She wanted to make uh, Mrs. Reddy happy. Yes, but she became very exhausted. And we have known that she had some problem with her legs. They always used to, you know, hinder or spoil the game that she was playing. So what happened was, she says, I ran as if ferocious dogs were nipping at my heels. Nipping at my heels, you know, when there's someone running behind you and you have to save your life. So that, that is the response, you know, you just run and run. So that is what she did. But when... The finishing line was just ahead of her. The race was just going to end. She stumbled and fell down. And when she stumbled, it was at that time that Anju, her friend, took the advantage and took the third position. She ended up at the fourth position. Winners are just one, two and three right and she felt so bad she says i was fourth i could not believe it and for the first time in my life before mrs reddy my eyes filled with tears till now you know she used to do uh, she used to keep trying and every time used to spoil the game or sport uh, mrs reddy used to tell her just don't do it if you cannot do it why are you doing you know taking stress or something but this was the first time she cried because she just wanted to prove herself. She wanted to make Mrs. Reddy proud and she had failed. So we say a race lost. All right. So till here our title is justified. But why do we say and won? Let us see. 
So now she started crying bitterly, but just then she saw Dipali, her friend, come running towards her, and she, Dipali patted her back, encouraged her, all right, and said, "You did really well." She said, sounding faintly surprised. In fact, Dipali, the way Dipali told her, and uh, that was, you know, Dipali herself was surprised that she could run so fast. It was because she stumbled. She came fourth. Otherwise, she was taking the third position. And uh, Dipali also said, "I didn't know that you run like that." And in the same time, Mrs. Reddy also came, and Mrs. Reddy said. Uh, that was a very good effort. These were Mrs. Reddy's words. Mrs. Reddy was very proud and she said that was a very good effort. And uh, she cried, she blinked, you know, she could not see. Her eyes were full of tears. But she said, but ma'am, I didn't qualify. Mrs. Reddy said, never mind. I am very pleased the way you ran. You have the potential. So when these words were told to her, these words made her happy. These words encouraged her. Yes, Akansha, these words encouraged her because yes, it's a matter of chance, matter of few fraction of seconds when, you know, the whole thing changes. Even in our cricket matches, in the football matches, one last ball or one last goal can change the you know side of the winning team so that is what happened and uh, the moment mrs reddy encouraged her and said that she was very pleased dipali was there everybody you know everyone was looking at her and she was being praised by mrs reddy that was what she won she won respect mrs reddy told that she had the potential to win so these words actually made her happy and Mrs. Reddy said that now I will help you. We will together train ourselves and, you know, overcome the weak things that we have. Now she came to know that there were problems with her legs. She had to do something about the legs. So now she would definitely, after this encouragement, do something to prove herself. She had to build up her endurance power, the stamina. Uh, to make her legs strong, those exercises were required, good diet was required. So that all would definitely, yes, if we think about the story, what must be, you know, after this, definitely this girl would be somewhere on the top because you need encouragement. You need a person to, you know, who guides you and who has faith in you. So these episodes are important then why the title is this this is important all right and uh, if the question is that do you think this girl had a positive attitude so then yes if she had positive attitude even though you know she was not able to do perform the sports activities properly she kept trying and trying and trying and yes that is what leads to success we need to keep trying all right, so this is a race lost and won. All right, just one second. One second. All right, now let us quickly start with uh, Railway Carriage. Small poem, quickly we'll go through it. Two chapters we'll finish today. So then if you have any problems, you can ask. Uh, page 111. Practice makes a man perfect. Tanishka, yes. Ananya and three of you, Tanishka, Ananya, Miksha and I should say even Akansha who is here, Yukti is here. You people are very good. You keep trying, you keep doing things and that is why you people are toppers. Toppers, you know, that doesn't mean that you always have a cup or a medal in your hand. You need to keep doing things and you people are, yes, the pride of my channel and my school. All right, page 111. Uh, so this is, yes, this is Robert Louis Stevenson, R.L. Stevenson. And here he talks about uh, a child who is traveling. And yes, he's sitting in a railway carriage. He's very, very happy. We all, when, whenever we have to go out, you know, it's been long 
many of us have not gone out and outing is yes what we now desire it is an urge for everyone yes so now we are here this child is very very happy sitting in the railway carriage and what all he looks outside is described here he feels very happy and he's uh, spellbound and mesmerized with the things that are passing and he names different things the train is moving very fast all right the train is moving very fast and uh, he compares he the poet has used poetic devices to enhance the beauty of the poem let us quickly do it uh, i'll go fast with the lines small poem i'm reading it and i'll quickly explain uh, he says faster than fairies faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle and all through the meadows the horses and cattle first four lines now here the poet says that uh, the poet is saying with uh, just you know as if he's a child sitting in the train uh, and he says that um the train is running so very fast that he has compared the movement fast movement of the train with fairies and witches fairies and witches are the mythological characters and we say that uh, they we feel the stories and all that we have read says that they have got magical powers right so just you know we have seen witches you know in uh, the harry potter thing and whatever you know there are so many stories where we see the fairies fly flying here and there with the magic wand and the witches sitting on the broom and going here and there and showing their black magic and all that so the trains speed has been compared to the movement of fairies and witches and in fact it is told that the train is running even faster than the fairies and witches and when uh, the train is running so fast it crosses different landscapes it crosses the bridges so the bridges all right it crosses the bridges it crosses the houses all right it crosses houses it crosses ditches it crosses the uh, hedges all right so all different things bridges where you there must be a river or something the bridge must be there on the top then there is a play of people where they are staying the train crosses those that area also maybe the the villages then there are ditches ditches are the small puddles you know so it he can see the puddles also he can see the vegetation the hedges also the bushes all can be seen when the train is running very fast all of the sites of the hills and plains then he says i can see the hills also i can see the plains also all right the bridges also so all different types of things are being are uh, he can see from the train so he says that all of the sites of the hill and plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by now the train moves so very fast that he has compared the speed of the train as uh, thick as driving rain now driving rain is you know when it is raining very heavily one uh, drop leads the other the other leads the other the other leads so it looks like driving rain all right so here the train is moving so very fast that nothing is visible so very uh, clearly but it just like when it rains heavily in the same way the train is moving very very here uh, fast and in fraction of seconds you know it takes just a second for us to either blink or wink so it takes you know not even nanosecond so uh, in that wink of an eye the painted stations also whistle by there are so many stations the trains do not stop uh, at all the stations so but painted some colorful thing you know passes and you come to know that there a small station was there but the train was whistling and moved without stopping so this is uh, the first paragraph let us quickly see the poetic devices here he has uh, used simile like troops in a battle now he says that when the meadows come he has seen cattle standing over there the cattle are grazing the grass but when the train is running in the opposite direction he feels that these the cattle over here the cows and the buffaloes what about the animals are standing here they are running in the other direction just like they run when there is a battle going on 
all right so whenever there is a battle you know when they say attack all the animals the horses and all the run towards uh, the enemy uh, side so in the same way you know the train is running on the in the opposite direction so you feel the other thing is also running even though the other thing is static all right so here like troops in a battle this is simile whenever the poet compares makes comparison using the word as and like that is simile the second is uh fly as thick as driving rain now uh the movement of the fast movement of the train has been compared with the uh movement of the rain heavy movement of the uh rain drops so this is also a simile next here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles what are brambles they are the blackberries now he sees from the train when the train goes further that there is a small child who is struggling crawling and trying to climb a small hill or some area which is not smooth so he is clam he clambers and scrambles that means with great difficulty he climbs and he is collecting blackberries here is a tramp who stands and gazes and here is green for stringing the daisies now he uh, he say he sees a tramp who is a tramp a tramp is a uh, person who does not have a home or a beggar or a person who keeps moving from one place to another so he sees a tramp on the way and the tramp is just standing and gazing at the train that is going so he sees him and he also sees that there are some ladies who are stringing the daisies how do you string when you are making garlands out of these beautiful flowers so he sees that the ladies are uh, stringing putting string in the daisy flowers and making a garland here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with man and load now you know this whatever we are reading if you think about where is the train traveling it is not a city or urban area the hills the plains the cattle the river uh, now we will also read about the mill all these are in the countryside all right uh, just outside in the outskirts of the city yes so there are roads which are not straight and smooth and so whenever the cart or any vehicle travels on that road that is not smooth they lump they move it is a rickety movement all right so that is why the cart which is full of load a man is sitting on it but the cart is lumping on the road and here is a mill he also sees a mill and there is a river he also sees a river each a glimpse so because the train is running so fast so he just gets a glimpse just gets a look of quick look and gone forever and because the train moves from there so it is gone forever movement of the train is very fast different types of landscape you know we all need to know whatever he is seeing he is seeing the bridges houses ditches hedges then he is also seeing the cattle they are grazing in the meadows but because of the fast move the movement of the train he feels that they are like troops running towards the enemy side then he is also able to see the meadows we have read then he the painted stations also whistle by he also sees a child who is collecting the blackberries he sees a tramp and then uh, the cart which is loaded and lumping and then the mill and the river so we need to know all these things that he is able to see now when he is seeing all this what do you think should be the mood of the poet or the child the he must be mesmerized he is so you know so such fast moved movement of the train is showing him so many different things so he must be very happy and excited and in fact curious to see what things are now you know uh, coming more you know that he will be able to view so he is very curious he is very excited happy children all children who travel and they look outside the window every child wants a window seat because they want to see what uh, all crosses on the way so the child must be very happy excited um curious to see the different types of things and uh, yes he is grasping whatever he is seeing on the journey all right so this was the poem by robert louis stevenson i hope you have all understood if there is still any problem please do write it in the comment section do like and uh, if you are a newcomer uh, please press the subscribe button some neha singh is over here of uh, 
जे एम पी एस स्कूल आई बिलीव जोजफ एंड मेरी स्कूल शी सेट एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग माई चैनल टेल योर फ्रेंड्स टू ज्वाइन प्रेस द बेल आइकन एंड वील बी टमोरो विद समथिंग एल्स फॉर रिवाइजिंग टिल देन टेक केयर बाय